What's up guys, Shane Starnes here with Droid Motor X. One of my favorite parts of owning a Nexus device is the fact that you're able to always run stock Android, but I also like the ability to be able to customize it to my liking. Cyanogen Mod 13 finally has official nightly builds for the Nexus 6P. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at it right now. Let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, so this will not be a full review of Cyanogen Mod 13 on the Nexus 6P. I have a full Cyanogen Mod 13 review so I'll be sure to include links to that in the description. We're just gonna take a look at some of the features. One of the main features in Cyanogen Mod 13 is that it now supports fingerprint scanners. So turn this off. You guys can see that I can now use my fingerprint scanner with a custom ROM, which is pretty awesome. You guys can see that we have that custom app drawer uh, that's alphabetical order and it's nice and quick and fast. You can search up top here for the app you need. So if you have hundreds of applications, it's real easy to quickly find the app that you're looking for. Okay, and then if we go into settings, we go into buttons, you have the ability to change your nav bar, which is pretty awesome because I'm used to Galaxy devices. So for me, the back button's on the right, the recents button is on the left. This is just easier to reach the buttons in this fashion, in my opinion. They've also added the option to press the power button twice to launch the camera. That is a feature that's built into the Note 5 and Galaxy S6. You're able to press the home button twice to open up the camera on those devices. So on this device, pressing that twice will launch the camera which just makes for simple, quick, and easy access to that camera in key moments when you really need to launch your camera fast so that you don't lose a moment. I really like that feature. You have status bar options here. You can actually change the position of the clock. I prefer it in the center. You can change the battery style. So normally it is just an icon, but you can actually change that to text. For me, it's much easier to see exactly where my battery is when it's in text form and up there in the status bar. I really enjoy that. I'm not having to drag down my notification panel to see the percentage. It's right there in my status bar. You do have brightness controls, which just gives you the ability to slide across the notification bar to change your brightness. You guys can see I'm at 38%. I unplugged this phone today at about 6.15 a.m. We're now at 8.33. If I go into battery here, you guys can see that I've got almost three hours of screen on time. We still have 38% left. I'm able to get over four hours of screen on time every single day. So Doze is also included here in Cyanogen Mod 13. And if you're wondering if installing Cyanogen Mod 13 on the Nexus 6P would be detrimental to your battery life, just know that battery life is just as good on CM13 as it is on stock Android. Yeah, so for the most part, Cyanogen Mod 13 is very minimal. It's not like some of these ROMs that give you tons and tons of features. It just gives you features that will improve the end user experience. If we go to About Phone, tap on the Android version, that's going to launch the Easter egg. Okay, so real quickly, we'll boot into recovery and I'll show you guys how to install this. Now there's a certain gapps package that you will need if you try to install any other gapps package, it's not going to install properly. So I'll be sure to include the link in the description of where to grab that gapps package. Okay, so to boot in recovery mode, you're gonna power down the device and then press and hold the volume down and power button until the bootloader screen comes up. You'll select reboot recovery uh, highlight it with the volume down button, select it with the power button. Once team recovery boots, you'll want to select backup. You wanna be sure to back up your current working stock rooted version of Android. That way, if for some reason you just don't like Signage Mod 13 or something goes wrong in the flashing process, you can always revert to this known working uh, version of Android. So we'll go back once we've got our backup. To restore that backup, you'll just go to restore and then click on the backup and swipe to restore. Okay, so the next thing you wanna do here is just go to wipe. Go ahead and swipe to wipe. I've already installed this, so I'm not gonna do that now. And then you'll go to install. Okay, and then you're gonna to want to grab the latest version of Cyanogen Mod 13. I'll include that in the link in the description. Click on that, and then you'll go to add more zips, and you're looking for this Banks Dynamic G apps. I'll be sure to also include a link to that G apps package. Make sure that you use that particular G apps package all it includes is the Play Store, but from the Play Store, you'll be able to download uh, your Gmail, your YouTube, any other Google service that you need. You're able to grab it from the Play Store. All other GApps packages that I tried failed, so they would not install, period. They would give me an error 64 message. This is the GApps package that I found to be working. Okay, so once you have all of these selected, you'll swipe to flash when it's finished. You'll reboot your device. 
And if all went well, you should be greeted with that Cyanogen Mod 13 boot animation. All right, guys, that about wraps it up for this quick review of Signage and Mod 13 on the Nexus 6P. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com. Follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Thanks, guys, for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.